Hi guys, it's Ruth and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video on this channel but I've missed you guys so much and I'm always thinking about you that's why I've decided to create a video today and I hope this video helps you out in a way that my channel always tries to help inspire and motivate its viewers for the longest time. Again, I apologize for my absence. I've been very busy being a mom. You could check out my mommy channel. It's at Mommy Ruth and that's where I most spend most of my time these days. But today I would like to share with you guys how to live your best life because with the past year that has happened, I have had a lot of realizations and I have had a lot of breakthroughs through the pandemic and hopefully this will help you out if you are also struggling to find your way in 2021. And without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I would like to share with you guys is try to live in the moment. For the longest time, I could remember. I've always been that kind of girl that's always looking forward, having goals and all of that. I'm not saying that it's bad to have goals, but the way I lived my life is it always have been not in the present. It's always been looking forward to the next thing, like looking forward for the next goal to achieve, looking forward to the next achievement, looking forward to the next step of my life, looking forward to the next phase of my life so when i was in elementary i can't wait to be in high school when i was in high school i can't wait to be in college and I, when i was in college i can't wait to be working so i wasn't fully at the moment experiencing my life experience a hundred percent when i was a kid so that's one thing that i realized i've been doing for a long time because when i was a flight attendant you know you would think that that's it but I was enjoying the layover and all of that but I was also thinking about starting my own business saving up money you know the next step because now I have achieved my dream now what's next it's always been like that and I feel like now that I've become a mom you know I have always dreamt of becoming a mom but I'm still not as you know settled as I thought that I would be because there's always this one thing that I want to achieve more like I want to be a mompreneur I want to be a real estate owner now sometimes I look back and I see did I really enjoy my time as a flight attendant did I really enjoy my time when I was in college because I was always so stressed and I was always so looking forward to the next step to the next phase of my life that I forgot you know to really live in the moment. Uh, this one thing that I regret now being an older person now. <laughs> I'm now in my 30s and maybe if I could talk to my younger self, that's what I would tell her like, you know, it's good to have a good balance of um, working for your goals and living in the moment and, and really, really enjoying your life. Like for me, once I've become a mom and started my family and settling down, I could never go back to my life as a single woman, as a flight attendant, you know, um, going around the world in all these layovers. So it's kind of hard to have those thoughts, you know, hang around you. Oh, I didn't go to this country. I didn't go to this layover and things like that. I was always being 50-50, so 50% 50 in the moment and 50% planning the future. So if you want to live your best life, I'm telling you guys, it's always best. Don't stress so much about the future and your goals and if you're gonna get there. Because you know what? Just trust in yourself that you are gonna get there. And those times that I was anxious and stressed, and worrying all night if I would ever find my a husband or will I ever find uh, somebody to love or to spend my life with you know, all those times I'm worrying about that those are wasted time that I have spent and I regret wasting my time there because in the end you know life works out the way it's supposed to work out just like how it happened to me so Stop being anxious, worry less, and live more this 2021. And I'm telling you guys, I'm assuring you that it's gonna be worth it. That's my first, that's my first realization, and that's my first tip for you guys. The next one is heal your emotional wounds. If you want to live your life 
fully happily you know truly in the moment sometimes there are things that is stopping us not physical things not financial things but within us so i have gone through a lot of emotional healing throughout the years now and when i did oh my god it was a breakthrough i was able to figure out why such and such person or such and such such and such situation really triggers me to to set an example one time in my refresher course as a flight attendant the instructor asked me because every year we do a classroom training once again just to refresh our skills and knowledge through the aircraft no so one time i was in a refresher class and then the teacher asked me to sit in another seat and it got me so mad i cried in the classroom and i don't know why and as an adult i know that that is not a normal reaction if the teacher asks you to move your seat so i really have to search myself and saw that i really have a wound when i was a child because when i was a child my aunt is my teacher and she always would humiliate me inside the classroom ask me to stand up and I don't know just power tripping when they have problems in the family and it carried on to the classroom and that really is a hard thing for a nine-year-old girl to go through and I've never really healed that part of me and so now every time as an adult every time the same situation happens I would cry uncontrollably I will have this pent up anger in me that I get really angry and it's all because of that wound from the past that I've never healed so my point is guys if you really want to live your life truly the best life that you want to live this childhood traumas is stopping you from doing that or this childhood traumas is causing you pain for you to live your life to the fullest that is why it's nice to go through a journey where you try to heal yourself so this is what i've been doing every time that something triggers me or something makes me feel uncomfortable uh, instead of denying it and pushing it down down below and if i find myself doing uh unusual behavior that i would not usually do which is not part of my character or i would ask myself when did i feel this way the first time is there a similar situation before that it has happened to me already before and what happened then and then you would realize there are so many painful memories from the past that you've been trying to forget so that's what adulting <laughs> means for me you never you never really try to remember the bad things that happened right but the thing is you have to heal them if they're not healed if because you were younger you will not able to process those emotions so now as an adult i would look back and then i would feel like okay now it's a safe space i can now feel my feelings i could now express my feelings so i would just cry about it sometimes and then i would ask myself if I could go back as an older me what will I tell my younger me so those are the healing things that I'm able to do to heal some of my emotional traumas from the past and I've done a lot of that guys since I don't know since 2014 <laughs> and it has been like a heavy heavy rock has been lifted off my chest every time i'm i discover a wound and every time i was able to process it and feel the feelings that was repressed from before so emotional healing guys i could not i could not emphasize how powerful this is how freeing this is to you but if you go through it it is uncomfortable yes you might cry a lot yes but that's the worst thing that could happen but on the other side of it you will feel lighter and then you'll be able to really truly live your best life this 2021 the third and last tip i have for living your best life this 2021 is being true to yourself if you're a type a personality you already have a life plan you know you will go to school graduate have this kind of career have a house car family all the shibai right but sometimes when you plan your life sometimes when you get to that point then you have to cross the bridge 
I mean, when you graduate college and then you realize this career that you are in is not the career that you really want to do, and then you're so afraid to let go of the plans or deviate from the plan because maybe you would disappoint your parents, your elders, the family, <laughs> honor, and all of that. So, in my experience, let me just share to you my story. My experience, I was not supposed to be a flight attendant. I was supposed to be a nurse working in the States because my aunt is already there. She paid for my schooling to, get, to go there and all of that. But I didn't. I was a, a hard child. I was following my heart. I followed my heart to become a flight attendant. And when I was a flight attendant, I was supposed to to transfer my career to being a nurse already at that time and I was getting my requirements done however I met my husband now and something in me something in my heart truly tells me this is the way that I should go and this is the way my life is supposed to go so it was scary it was really really scary but I choose to be true to myself because I just I'm just the kind of person who can't live a lie so if I know that this is not real this is not true I can't live like that so I had to let go of all of my plans of moving to the States and being a nurse and now I started my family and I'm here with my husband so and I have never been happier because this is my own choice this is not my family's choice this is not my plans choice or whatever but you know what looking back in the end I'm so glad that I took the leap of faith and did this because this is what really is making me happy nowadays and this is what really is I feel like my life is supposed to be so if you are asking yourself if this is how I want to live my life if you're having doubts that if this is how I want my life's direction to be perhaps it's worth a second you know rethink reevaluation about it because in the end you're the one who's gonna live your life not your parents you're the one who's gonna live with the consequences of your choices you cannot blame it on other people you cannot blame it on your family because you have a choice and you always have a choice and your family if they really love you whatever choice you make they're still gonna be there and support you in the end they may not approve they might feel like they're disappointed but at the end of the day you're still family you're their child they would love you and they would still be there and support you if they are like a functional family like <laughs> unlike mine but yeah guys be true to yourself it has th it has tons and tons of rewards to being true to yourself i know it's scary but if you're true to yourself you can then live your best life this 2021 <laughs> So there you go, guys. These are my nuggets of wisdom from experience <laughs> that I would like to share with you guys. And hopefully this has helped you. Um, and I am also hoping that this 2021 will be a more positive year for us. I'm claiming it, guys. You should claim it too. So make sure that you follow my tips on this video and live your best life this year, 2021. So until next time, this is Ruth and I will fly with you soon. Bye!